And uh, we'll bring Laura now. Uh, we haven't seen this before. And, you know, as Joe just said, no one manipulates the media like Donald Trump. No, and he's going to probably manipulate his own mugshot as well because I reckon for Donald Trump this becomes his central campaign focus. And, yeah. and you're right, um, this does play well to him, plays well to his base, but you also got to remember that there is a lot of normal Republicans uh, yeah. that Mick Mulvaney and I often talk about that might just look to Ron DeSantis now. Ron DeSantis has not nominated yeah. yet, but, maybe, uh, but he's certainly been playing that game. Yeah, but maybe he thinks, man, this time there's too much... Who it's thinks too much that? noise. Ron I'm, just, I'm just thinking maybe DeSantis thinks it's, this is this is murky, this election. Yeah. I'm going to spin it in four years. I don't know. I I'm don't just know. thinking, you know. Yeah. Uh, Trump's going to get all the oxygen now. Well, imagine he gets the nomination and he's in jail. I don't well, even know how that gonna, works. He's going to run the campaign. I don't even know how that set. works. But, it, it, but that's it, what makes this fascinating. It does make it fascinating, absolutely. And look, this is there's a political element to all of this. The, the guy's a Democrat that's indicted that's him. Right. Uh, let's be frank about it. And I think it's quite tenuous that Trump supporters will be looking at that detail. But this also makes a complete mockery of not only the US's legal system, but their yeah. political system as well. It is, quite frankly, yeah. A joke. Well, I mean, as Annalise said, rightly pointed out, this is the, you know, you've had Mueller, you've had two impeachments that have been unsuccessful, you've had the raid on Mar-a-Lago that, you know, didn't really turn up much. This is by far and away the weakest case against him, but the one that it's... it's I don't it's going to get gonna him. stick or not. Uh, maybe it's it an won't. Al Capone line here, isn't it? You know, yeah. Al Capone... Uh, eventually got done by the tax office. They couldn't the pin man. anything else yeah. on him. So it's always the <laughs> the, the least uh, likely charge. But, look, it uh, is yep. stunning. Quite right, frankly. well, what a way to finish off the week here. Yeah. Um, that's the live shot right now. I still don't know what that is, by the way. Is it Trump Towers? Um, uh, presume, I can't see past the Scaffolding's annoying. The scaffolding, annoying. very annoying. <laughs> How dare they? So... <laughs> Oh, it's a DA. There you go. Uh, I thought it might have been a... Bad timing, uh, yeah. builders. <laughs> I thought it might have been a Trump Tower and I was expecting... I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest with you. Was Trump going to walk out? No way. Anyway, mm. uh, he'll be arrested at some point. Someone Where he is right now, I don't even know if he's in New York or whether he's in Florida or at his home. And anyway, there's going to be a lot of action on this space, obviously, for the rest of the day, the rest of the weekend and into next week as well, folks. It's been a pleasure being with you today and this week, as always. Uh, Sky News is going to have you covered on this huge breaking news bit of history out of the US. The first time a US president, sitting or former, has ever been indicted, if this New York Times article is correct, and we believe it to be. More coverage coming up after the break. Laura's got you. See you next week.